What is going on guys, your friend Pedro here. Today I want to start off a series of videos regarding the Final Fantasy VII Remake Extra Battles. Like previous tutorials, I will be teaching you which equipments to use and what strategies you can take. I want to start off these tutorials with the Soldier 3rd Class Candidates Battles, which is the first of the Heart Only Battles. One of the most challenging aspects of these battles it's the fact that you only have one party member. The second one being that you cannot use items. I will be explaining to you which materials to carry and their uses. Since the battle is the same for all the characters, the strategy will apply to all of them. So go ahead and equip yourself with a lightning materia and link it with an elemental orb. This will not only allow you to deal extra damage, but also to stagger enemies quicker. Now you should also carry the binding materia. This materia right here is the key to victory. You should also equip yourself with the steadfast block materia to reduce damage and of course the healing materia to recover. You could also carry the time materia but it's not really necessary. Now lastly, this only applies to Aerith and Barret. Aerith should carry with her the submersion materia. The reason for this is because on the first battle the shock trooper will cast reflect on itself, rendering all of Aerith's attacks completely useless. Aerith should also carry an HP up materia. This is because the last fight can be troublesome for her due to her low HP. Now when it comes to Barret, you should be equipping a few MP up materia because he's the character with the least MP. When it comes to the equipment itself, just go ahead and use your best gear and let's get to it. The first battle will consist of a shock trooper and an unknown entity. Fighting both of them at the same time can be troublesome and this is where sleep comes in. I will highly recommend you to put the Shock Trooper to sleep first. When it comes to the unknown entity, just be careful with the level 3 magic that it casts and you should be able to take it down no problems. After you take care of it, the Elite Shock Trooper should be no problems. Just keep your eye on him and be careful when he uses Twister. Like I mentioned previously, the Shock Trooper will cast Reflect on himself, so just go ahead and remove it so you can keep dealing damage. Remember that this only applies to Aerith, so don't worry about the Reflect with any other character. The second battle is the easiest one of the bunch. So there is really no strategy to it, but if by any chance you do need a breather, go ahead and use a sleep so you can recover no problems. For the third battle, you will be fighting a sledgeworm. As you might guess, they are weak to thunder. For this battle, try to keep your distance while also try to be fast. You can easily dodge the projectiles it throws at you, but I will recommend you to block instead. With Cloud and Tifa, pay attention whenever it uses Torpid Strike. This ability will cast a stop on you and that can get you in a really bad position. All you have to do is pull back and you should be safe. Whenever you have the opportunity, cast thunder so you can stun it. For the fourth battle, you will be fighting an armored trooper. While its attacks are slow and predictable, they are extremely powerful. When it comes to Aerith and Barret, you have to be aware of its machine gun. While with Tifa and Cloud, go ahead and dodge whenever he gets ready to use his sword. Whenever he's getting ready to use a skewer, go ahead and block. But if you time it properly, you can cast a sleep and cancel the attack altogether. The armor trooper is also weak to lightning, so take advantage of his weakness. The last battle will be the moth unit. As you may recall, this robot is extremely fast and extremely powerful. If you brought the time material with you, this is the time to use it. Go ahead and cast haste on yourself and get ready to use a stop. Using a stop will give you the upper hand for you to be able to cast Thundaga. Just take into consideration, the more you use a stop, the less time it will be frozen. So time your attacks properly and stick to quick thunder attacks. Whenever it uses ultra high voltage, go ahead and block. This attack cannot be dodged and it will deal a high amount of damage. Which is why I recommend to use the HP up material for Aerith. If you're still having trouble surviving the attack, Go ahead and bring a barrier materia so you can mitigate even more damage. That about covers everything this challenge has to offer, so I will be posting the battles with each character individually. I will be posting the times in the description just in case you want to watch a particular one. And with that said and done, let's beat this challenge, shall we? Sweet dreams. Let's do this.
Double time.
take it easy. All right. Gotta give it my all. Sick 
Do it. Off a bit. 
See you around! Hope you have sweet dreams! We're kinda in a hurry! Get ready! That'll do! <laughs> Too bright? Stop it!
As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I mentioned before, this is the first of several Final Fantasy VII tutorials. All of the tutorials will be related to the hard battles and also how to beat Bahamut. Also, I would like to take the opportunity and announce a special Final Fantasy VII giveaway. I will be giving away a physical copy of the Deluxe Edition for Final Fantasy VII. I will be announcing the details in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.